It's time for your daily dose of vitamin A12. In this case, vitamin A12 refers to the high performance A12 option package factory installed on this handsome 1969 and a half Plymouth Roadrunner. The Roadrunner was a very popular car and was even crowned Motor Trends Car of the Year for 69. And it makes sense as the whole idea was to build a car that had strong performance, a variety of options, sharp looks, and a low price. The base 383 powered cars ran well, but Plymouth executives realized the power of drag racing and they paid attention to what people were doing to modify their own runners to make them faster. The cool thing is that they acted on it and launched the A12 package as a mid-year option. If you were to build a weekend warrior drag racer, you'd probably opt for the biggest engine you could find, feed it with multiple carbs, add a four speed with a good clutch dual exhaust, a limited slip rear with speedy gears, big tires, and gut the car to save weight. And guess what? That's exactly what Plymouth did. First up, they dropped in a 10 to 1 compression 440 V8 and capped it with an Edelbrock aluminum six barrel intake manifold and three two barrel carburetors for plenty of fresh air and fuel. The lower end had a forged crank and rods and a 440 Magnum style camshaft. These engines were treated to extra machining finesse like a shot peen crank, flat face lifters, stronger valve springs and rockers, and other touches to make them basically race ready. A new breakerless ignition lit the fire and a heavy duty clutch spun a Hemi-Spec four-speed hooked to a Dana nine and three quarter inch rear end, which was loaded with 410 gears and a sure grip differential. You need big tires to race, so they wrapped Goodyear Polyglass G70-15s with red stripes around stamped steel 15 by seven inch wheels. They figured that hubcaps were just an annoyance at the track, so they left them off completely. The look is signature A12 and it's all business. The suspension comes right from the police package, so the ride is firm and it stops with disc brakes up front and oversized 11 inch drums in the rear. Racers didn't want a bunch of weight in the car, so the A12 was pretty basic inside. It's got a bench seat, a four speed stick, and an AM radio with a heater, but that's about it. A big 120 mile an hour sweeping speedo shows over 90,000 miles on the clock which is a satisfying indicator of the car's past life. This car was actually driven and quite a lot. First generation muscle cars were built many years ago, so it's not often known what their history was going back to day one. And this vitamin C orange 1969 and a half Plymouth Roadrunner A12 446 barrel car entered the brothers collection after a previous owner gave it a complete restoration. A12 cars are recognizable by the lack of trim and flashy stuff but they do have a specific hood, a black lightweight fiberglass snorkel that pins to the car completely devoid of hinges. The liftoff hood saves a bunch of weight and shovels fresh air to the 440, and it looks cool doing it. This one is wearing vitamin C orange and is identified by the Roadrunner character who can be found zipping all around the car. All these performance goodies worked as these cars ran low 13s right out of the box, and a lot of people got 12s out of them with a few simple tweaks. One cool little detail on this car is the dealership badge on the deck lid. Now normally if you restore a car like this, you take that little badge off and you throw it away. But in this case, the restorer found the family that used to own Johnston Motors in Vancouver and contacted them. 
And even though the dealership had been closed since the 70s, they found a stash of new old stock badges and he was able to reinstall it on the original deck lid using the original holes because this car was sold there new in 69. The Brothers Collection is home to several A12 cars, including the very same car run by Ronnie Sox in a Superstock magazine story back in 69. This one was driven hard, actually painted blue for a while, then it was found and restored to the as-new condition you see today. It seems all these cars have cool stories. Next time you're at a car show and you see something cool, maybe ask the owners if they know the history, because every old car has one. Thanks for watching this episode of Muscle Car of the Week from the Brothers Collection. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe to our YouTube channel or like our Facebook page, and maybe share your own stories about cool muscle cars. See you next time.